everyone, welcome back to my channel, Brenda Summers, Independent Sunsea Consultant. Today I'm going over the new spring summer catalog. It's called Connections. I'm excited to be sharing this with you. I'll be going over the top new um, 10 cents that Sunsea has to offer in this catalog. I'm looking forward to doing my first cold sniffs with you. Um, I'm excited about these ones because they're going to be fruity and lighter than the, the winter um, scents that we just had. I know some people still are um, warming the winter, kind of heavy scents. Me, I've moved past that. I'm looking forward to light, fresh florals, um, some fruity, not so much bakery in the summer for me. So here's the, what the new catalog looks like exciting and then the top 10 new releases are right here on page 25 so that's exciting this catalog becomes available february 1st 2022 on any consultants website including my website i'll link my website down below or any consultant um, if you have a, a consultant they should have catalogs just ask for one or request one from them. Um, I'm sure they'll be able to get you one. Me, I have catalogs, so if you need one, just request it down below. And if you want to join my team, I'm looking to build a team this year. Um, I'm excited about growing a little bit more. And um, if not, if you need a Sunset Consultant, then I'll link my website down below. So. Or if you just need an opinion, I can give you one. Not a big deal. I look forward to um, comments and replies. I look forward to when people like and subscribe. It just helps me grow my channel a little bit longer. And without further ado, let's go over the top 10 new fragrances. I'm so excited about sharing this with you. Um, I couldn't wait for the new catalog to come out and then I couldn't wait for my kit to come out. So the top um, new release, the first one that we're going to be going over is Apple Teeny Splash. I have not uh, sniffed these before, so this is my first cold sniffs. My nose is different from yours, so what I pick up is my own um, my own, um, not expectations, but my own perception of the scent. It could be different. It can um, wide, um, widely vary, vary between environment, environment, people's homes, people's warmers, depending. So just take everything I say with a grain of salt. Always check out other consultants' websites because they have an opinion about it. So that's my recommendation. So Apple Teeny Splash. So this is a nice green wax that we're talking about, nice green packaging. And then I know it's a freshly poured because it has all the scent families on the back. So that's what I mean by fresh poured. And then look at nice green appley scent. And then that again. So let's get my sniffer going. Wow. I really, really like this. I'm picking up apple right away. I'm picking up freshness. I'm picking up fruity. Very, very good for the spring and summer, I think. Um, kind of reminds me of an apple drink. I'm getting like a maybe Granny Smith or a sweeter kind of apple, maybe um, Gala um, apples. Very, very nice, but I'm, I can't specifically tell you what the other set notes are. All I get is fresh, fruity, and very, very nice. Something that I'm going to enjoy. Um, warming. So there you have it, Apple Teeny Splash. And I will actually go over the scent notes with you. So um, that's an exciting one. It smells really good. And on the back side, it was about a medium. On the front side, it was a light, lighter. Green apple nashy pear stirred with a big splash of simple syrup. So yeah, the sweetness is coming from the pear. So I kind of knew it was kind of another fruit scent, but wasn't sure. Um, definitely green apple, but I wasn't sure if it was green, mimicking like a gala or a sweet golden delicious apple, but it was very, very nice. I would never have picked up simple syrup though. It is sweet though. So very, very nice new release on their part. Um, 
I would actually um, recommend you buying it to try it if you like fresh, fruity, um, kind of scent sweet. So that's Apple Teeny. That's the first one. The next one we're going to go over is Clementine Cupcake. And that one seems like it's going to be a winner. It sounds bakery to me, but that's okay. As long as the orange comes out of the Clementine, I'm happy with that. It's a pretty orange packaging. And then it's a new pour because of the scent families on the back. And then here's what this smells like. So I definitely, as soon as I opened up the clamshell, I could get that cupcake keyness, like a cake kind of um, note. So it's strong on the front. Kind of reminds me of Cutie Pie Cupcake. Happy birthday. Any, any like bakery to, along that line. Very, very cakey, very bakery. So anybody that's into like strong bakery scents, you're going to love it. And then I'm hoping to get the Clementine eh, on the bottom. So I am getting the Clementine. It seems to be a little bit tart, but I am getting it. I'm getting it with that nice white cupcake vibe. So I think this one I'm going to be enjoying um, melting it. It's different. It's different than cutie pie cupcake. It's a little bit stronger, but definitely bakery. Yeah, it's stronger here about a medium. So anybody that's into bakery will love this one. It's Clementine cupcake. So that's a winner, I think, in my book. Yay! <laughs> Here's the scent notes on it. A warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. Couldn't necessarily um, smell the lemon sugar, but it did have like a tartness to it. So probably came out with that clementine. I'm sure as soon as you warm it, I'm hoping the lemon and clementine comes out even more. But it's definitely cupcake as soon as you open it. Like as soon as I opened up the clamshell, it was definitely cupcake and a nice vanilla cupcake. So I said white. So um, anybody that's into bakery, um, you're going to love that. I think that would be good for the springtime or if you want something to uplift you anytime, really summertime, fall. I think this is an um, all year kind of scent, but who knows? I'm not really into warming um, seasonally anymore. Whatever I feel like warming, I warm. So I would warm, definitely warm that all year round. So the next one is kind of a cute name. It's cocoa, and then they've got brackets, nuts for coconuts. So I'm looking forward to this one because I really, really love coconut. Um, a lot of people don't like coconut. And so, whew, where is my coconuts for coconuts? Okay, it's this pretty brown, brown and white wrapper. That's kind of neat. And then it's actually yellow, not white. So I was surprised. It's a new pour again because of the scent notes, the scent families on the back. And this is my first authentic stuff, so let's try it. Wow, I'm getting like a perfumey kind of coconutty kind of vibe. It's light here. Not saying that I don't like it, but I'm hoping it's more coconutty on the bottom. It's very sweet. Um, I don't necessarily smell the coconut. I smell sweet and a bit perfumey. So this will be neat to try to um, warm to see if that coconut comes out. You would think something like cocoa nuts for coconuts <laughs> would be more coconutty, but... Um, this bar is already sweating, like, so interesting. So, um, light on the front, um, kind of medium on the bottom. So, um, nothing so far that I've reviewed is going to blow you out of the house. I think they're all going to hum in the background really, really, really nice. I think um, the smaller the room, the stronger it'll be. And then I think it'll do fine in an open concept. So that's cocoa nuts for coconuts. 
I'm kind of disappointed that there's not enough coconut in it, but I do like the fact that it's kind of a perfumey, kind of um, maybe florally, kind of sweet kind of fragrance. So there you have it. So that's the third one that we're, re we're reviewing for today. And the next one is Daydream Oasis. So I'm assuming this is like a... Um, like a sea kind of fresh vibe um, as if you're um, by a beach so this one is kind of turquoisey green it's pretty and then the wax is kind of turquoisey and green so let's give my sniffer a sniff and that's what it looks like okay not really digging this one I'm getting kind of like a beach kind of vibe um, that goes along with like sandalwood or like a woody kind of note but it's kind of um, along the beach kind of vibe um, I can't say I really hate it I can't say that I really love it though there is a sweetness on this side I get like a perfumey kind of note to this one so as long as you're into perfumey, fresh kind of notes um, with a little hint of woodsiness, then I think you'll like this one. Um, I'm going to hold my judgment until I warm it. Um, I'm going to cure it a little bit longer. It's light to medium, but to me it, it needs to come out more. So Daydream Oasis for all you beach lovers out there. Um, Lose yourself in sweet melon and visions of luminous pear leaf and water lily. So I get the sweetness, but I couldn't tell you that it was melon in it. And then I did get kind of that perfumey, kind of florally kind of note, but not overpowering. I think that still will be a winner with a lot of people. So, um, so far, so good. And the next one that we're going to be reviewing is Paradise Petals. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's this orange kind of wax. It's pretty. And then on the back. So I'm expecting this to be floral by the name of it. But who knows? Oh, wow. Very, very nice. Very lightish. But I am getting like a, to me, I'm getting an orange floral kind of hint. Wow, kind of citrusy, floral, sweet, kind of fresh, vibrant. Um, can't pick out the scent notes, but I do like it actually. So light to meet the medium again. Who knows when I warm it? So that was Paradise Petals. Neroli and orange zest beckon from a utopia of tropical white blooms. Neroli, I forget, I did... Um, Look it up, but I forget what it said. So if you're interested, look it up. It's kind of, it's um, some kind of, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to say, it's going to say patchouli type kind of, I don't know. <laughs> so anybody that will look it up and tell me, that'll be great. If not, I'll look it up and tell you what Neroli um, is. And then the orange zest does come out. And then the white blossoms come out. So it's kind of a tropical kind of vibe. Not overly done. I think I'll like it. Um, so that was Paradise Petals. So the next one we're going to be going over is Pineapple Mango. And I'm hoping that it smells pineapple-y and mango-y. Um, I, I love those scents. If they're done well, um, great. If you're not a pineapple or mango lover, then you won't like this. But it's like a bright orange. No, a bright yellow. Sorry, I can't tell my colors today. <laughs> and then bright orange on the back. And let's see. Oh, nice. Get the pineapple right away. Then get the hint of mango. It's sweet. It's vibrant. Oh, I like this one. Stronger. I don't think it's going to be a powerhouse, though, but this is um, medium. Very, very nice. Another fresh, sweet kind of um, 
some spring summer kind of scent so pineapple mango I really like they've done it well um, I've still got to warm it so but I like it on cold so that's really really nice a bright blend of sweet pineapple and juicy mango softened by passion flower see I couldn't put my finger on that passion flower it doesn't come out as much as the sweet and juicy mango but I'm hoping I'm warm the blossom flower comes out a little bit so that was pineapple mango very very nice for the spring and summer the next one I'm looking forward to sniffing is pink rhubarb sugar yummy yummy yum I like rhubarb I like sugar and here we go it's kind of this dark pink color and dark pink wax it looks red on my screen but believe me the dark pink and then, oh, nice. Very, very nice. You're getting the sugar. You're getting the rhubarb. I don't know what the pink is. Maybe a berry. But very, very nice. Very sweet. Vibrant. I'm finding a, a lot of these are sweet. So I'm not complaining. Definitely rhubarb. Definitely the sugar. Um... To me, this smells along the lines of a punch. So if you don't like punch um, kind of scents in your house, then you might not like this. But I really, really like it. It's not over, overly powerful. It's like a me medium to light. So depending on the warmer and the location, I'm hoping that this comes out a little bit stronger, but I think it'll hum in the background really, really nice. So that's pink rhubarb sugar. I think that's going to be a fan favorite as well. And then Shoreline Drive is going to be like another ocean beach fresh kind of um, scent, I believe. It's this pretty, pretty blue light wax. Kind of got like a turquoisey color. Very, very nice. And then here's this. And then let's smell it. Okay, this is definitely stronger. It's got like a stronger note. Um, possibly there might be, sorry. Um, I'm itchy today. Possibly a strong woodsy note, um, like driftwood or, or something along that line, like a dewy grass kind of um, vibe. So, what does this remind me of? By the Sea is a little bit sweeter than this. Kind of along that line, but a bit stronger. So if you really like um, stronger beach kind of vibe scents, then this one's for you. I'll hold judgment on this one because there's something in here that's making my nose itchy. And um, not really sure. So short line drive, I think a lot of people will like it, but... I'm not really sure on this one, but I think it's still really good compared to some of the other um, scents that Sensei has come up with. So that's Shoreline Drive. And then the last but not least, oh, two more, sorry, Summer Moonlight. And I believe this is offered in Australia right now. I was kind of, um, kind of jealous because it's like, oh, that sounds really, really good. So <laughs> and I wanted to try it. So excuse me my face is itchy I don't know why summer moonlight is this pretty pretty packaging and then this purpley kind of light pinky color um wouldn't say it was mauve maybe and then there we go okay very light here I can't really smell it really no I can't smell it at all there so Ah, kind of disappointed about that. And then I don't get anything, to be honest. I get like a slight berry note. Kind of disappointed. I can't smell it. So, light and light. Very light. I can't say that I like it. Can't say I hate it. I'm just going to put it back in my clamshell and let it linger for a little bit longer to see if the uh, oils um, congeal a little bit more. So that's Moonlit, Summer Moonlit. I had high hopes for this one. So 
oh well, can't win everything. So honestly, I can't smell it. It's very, very, very light. It's it's like a berry kind of sweet scent, but I wish I could smell it, darn. Fresh strawberries sprinkled along sweet pea and shimmering sandalwood. Ah, I knew there was kind of like a sandalwoody or kind of a woodsy kind of smell, but strawberries, I couldn't tell you, and then I would never uh, guess sweet pea. So, disappointed. Oh, well, that's just my experience. Don't go by my experience. Once I warm it, I can tell you a little bit more about it. Um, on warming, some of these bars that I have um, smelt on cold actually turned out to be really, really beautiful scents. So it's all in the warming. So sometimes you get duds, sometimes you get winners. You can't win <laughs> at everything. So the last one that I'm going to be talking to you about is White Amber Antique. I know I may not like this because it is a woodsy kind of kind of scent. So, but let me smell it first. It's this kind of beigey, taupey kind of um, packaging, taupey kind of wax. And then let's see. Oh, this is really different. I'm getting a perfume powdery kind of note. It's not um, girly at all. It's more on a masculine kind of scent. I like this actually. I like this more than what I thought I would. To me it's coming across like a man's cologne. It's very um, strong on this side. So I think this might blow you out of the house. And it's kind of medium to light on this side. But this is actually really, really nice. Um, it's blowing me away. Um, Especially when I um, smelt um, Perfect Gentleman and Echo and Route 66 and stuff. I didn't think I would like them. But this one, like the oak, acorn and oak one that we just had in a collection, I believe. That one was really, really nice too. And that surprised me. So this is a surprise for me. I like it. It smells like a nice... <laughs> man coming out of a shower this actually could be bottled up and shower gel um cologne that type of thing so um Heidi I'm thinking of you and Jason Momoa Jason Momoa coming out of the shower with the scent on I think this would be lovely so <laughs> white amber antique so there you have it the top 10 new fragrances for the Spring Summer Catalog 2022. And I hope you're excited about it coming out as much as I am. They have a lot, a lot of new products in here. And I'm really, really happy. They've um, kind of pared down on their Scentsy Buddies. They kind of took away the um, Scentsy Buddies from the um, Winnie the Pooh collection. So... Transition month this month, so everything 10% off other than for the Disney stuff. Um, make sure that if you really want a Tigger, an Eeyore, or Pooh Bear, you get it now because they're putting them in the vault and you don't know if they're coming back or not. And then, um, what else is new? Um, we got this lovely state of the art, it's called Explore Premium Diffuser. This is really pretty and that's coming out. That kind of looks like a marbling effect and every shade is a little bit different because it marbles, but yeah, I'm really happy about that coming out. Um, what else is new? Um, let's see. Oh, this one I really, really like. It's Perfect Poppy. I really want that warmer. Not that I don't have enough warmers, but that is really, really pretty. I think if you put a colored bulb into it, I think it'll be nice. Even if you don't, I think it still will be nice. So that's a nice one that's new and coming out. Um, if you're into like marbling um, or like rocks, rock quarries coming out. It kind of reminds me of the Himalayan salt one that we had. So that's pretty nice. 
uh, if you're into that kind of um, warmer. And then what else do we have? We have so much coming out that um, it just, I'm ooing and aahing over some of these warmers. They're just so beautiful. And then the charitable warmer, and I want to get that, is Flight of the Monarch. And I think if you put like a purple or maybe a red right there, even with the light um, in it, that's beautiful. I love butterflies. I think if you put a purple one too in, that'll be really nice. So that's the chair charitable warmer for the next six months until we change over in August so um, I don't want to spoil everything so I just wanted to give you glimpses into what's coming out in this book and obviously there you go and then that's I've got lipstick on it already but this is my copy so <laughs> I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you for tuning in and spending a little bit of time with me going over the top 10 new fragrance releases for the Spring Summer Catalog 2022 and it's called Connections. So it's coming out February 1st. So have a great day. Catch you on the flip side. Bye for now.